In this video, we're going to explore how databases can be updated wirelessly using the GDL60 with Database Concierge. At the completion of this video, you'll be able to successfully transfer databases over Database Concierge and describe the hierarchy of database updates. First, you need to ensure that you have the Garmin Pilot application installed on your mobile device. If not, you'll need to download the Garmin Pilot application through the App Store for your device. Once the application is successfully installed, open Garmin Pilot. If this is your first time accessing Garmin Pilot, you'll see a license agreement appear. Select Agree and Continue and then log in using the same email and username that is associated with your FlyGarmin account. Now, press More, select Settings, and then Subscriptions. To be able to enable the database concierge functionality in Garmin Pilot, you must have an active subscription. If your subscription has already been established, you should see your subscribed region and level with an expiration date showing in green font under Active. Now, press More, and then Devices. Select Database Concierge, and then Enable Database Concierge. If you have aircraft listed on your FlyGarmin account, they will appear here. Next, select Continue. You'll then see a Download Settings page appear. Ensure that Auto Download Updates is selected on and Auto Delete Downloads is selected off. If you would like to prevent large files from updating with Database Concierge, under Database Transfer Exclusions, select Exclude IFR VFR Charts and Exclude Terrain. Both of those databases can be updated using an SD card when needed. Any of these settings can easily be changed at a later time if desired. After your selections have been made, press Continue in the top right corner. You will now be brought to a license agreement. Please review this agreement and when complete, select Accept. Select More and then Downloads. On the Downloads page, you'll be able to see your Database Concierge downloads. This is where you'll be able to select to download databases and charts for use for flight planning and navigation within the Garmin Pilot application. Once all databases are downloaded onto your mobile device, we're ready to head out to the aircraft to get our mobile device connected to complete a database update using the GDL60. To begin, we first must establish a connection between your mobile device and your Garmin touchscreen navigator. To do that, follow these steps. Ensure that the system is powered on and navigate to the systems page. Then, press Connect Setup, Networks and Pairing, and finally, Settings and Pair. On your mobile device, open your Bluetooth settings and select the GDL60 network when it appears. Pairing requests will then appear on both your mobile device and GTN. Acknowledge these to complete the pairing process. The GDL60 is now connected to Bluetooth. If using an Android, reopen the Garmin Pilot application and select the GDL60 from the Devices page. Then, select a device to connect from the drop-down menu. Note, if you don't see the GDL60 in your Garmin Pilot Devices list, either on Android or iOS, make sure your device is running the latest Garmin Pilot version. Now that we're connected via Bluetooth, we also need to connect to the GDL60 Wi-Fi to be able to wirelessly update our databases. Reopen the Garmin Pilot application and you should see that Garmin Pilot has a Bluetooth connection to the GDL60. Select the line that says GDL60 Use Aircraft Wi-Fi for better performance and functionality. After a few seconds, your mobile device will then be connected to the GDL60 Wi-Fi. After connecting to the GDL60 Wi-Fi, your mobile device will now begin to wirelessly upload your databases. Once the update is complete, the system will require a power cycle to activate the database cycle that was just updated. By going to System, then System Status, 
you'll be able to see which databases are now in standby and inactive. One thing to remember when completing a database update via Database Concierge. Ensure that power to the system is never interrupted during the database loading process. Double check that both your mobile device and the aircraft battery have an adequate charge before beginning the upload process. You might consider the use of an external power unit for your aircraft during large file uploads. This completes this video on how to wirelessly update databases by utilizing your GDL60 and Database Concierge.